What's good, Super Community? It's the boy Trev coming back with another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. I know it's been a while, but you know, I'm back with the more videos coming out. We got a new draft box uh, coming uh, tomorrow, officially dropping tomorrow, and we have some expansion uh, sets coming out in a couple weeks also. But you know, let's get into the, uh, the best cards to pick up in the draft box sets. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go into uh, go into the cards. Uh, this is only my opinion of which cards to pick up, and yeah, let's get into it. Oh, 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 let's get into it. There we go. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the green cards. Sorry, my head's in the way, but I'm going to read them off anyway. So for we got the five drops, Sun Gohan, Hidden Might. He has Deflect, Unique, and Double Strike. That's really good stats already. Um, permanent when your life is three or less reduce this um, card by three so basically it's a two drop 25k double strike that has deflect and uh, unique up there that's really good um, especially for um, aggro but um, let me go ahead and finish uh, explaining the card but if your leader is green when this card is played choose one Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignore and barrier, and KO it. That's really good when you're just playing this card for two. Also, uh, choose up to one of your opponent's using cards and remove a marker from it. Okay, um, it's like, um, you can say this card is like a unison killer also, but um, this card is really good um, in Margin Vegeta. Uh, I know I keep talking about Margin Vegeta is one of my favorite decks right now. And I'm definitely playing this uh, card in the deck. Um, it fits perfectly in there. Since you're taking your own life and um, and you're just plusing from that and you get to play this Sun Gohan just for just for two energy. It's really cheap for more uh, aggro use. It would be dope if it had crit, but no, it will be like super OP. Um, throughout this draft box set, we have different colors for um, skillless. And here's our first skillless uh, super rare card. So we got the Great Saiyan Man 2, Buddying Hero, that's basically Videl. Um, auto, when this card is played from your hand, play up to one skillless battle card with the energy cost of two or less from your deck or drop your hand. Then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So that's pretty good. Uh, active main, just tap one green energy, choose one of your skillless battle cards with an energy cost of two or less, return it to, uh, return it to your hand, and play this card from your hand and you can't play copies of this card for the turn. So, it's really good for some skillless green. We haven't seen too much uh, green skillless cards. Uh, so, and the card just looks good in general. Um, I can't wait to see this card in person, but um, I think this card would be really good in some type of green hybrid skillless deck. Um, personally, uh, this Tapion is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. So, we have a two drop blue green Tapion, Fate of a Hero, Energy Exhaust, and Blocker. Active May, you can tap a blue or green if your leader is green or a Phantom Demon card. And you can discard this card from your hand. So to tap a blue or green, discard it. Um, draw one card, then play this card from your drop area at the end of the turn. So instantly when you pitch this card, draw one card, you get to play this card from your drop area um, at the end of the turn. Uh, um, at or you can use the second effect, uh, second effect, activate up to one sealed music box from your deck, and then shuffle your deck. So that second effect really goes with the uh, new Harutagarn Huru chain that we've uh, uh, read about uh, earlier. But um, yeah, this card is really good. So just in case, so this card is really good in the Harutagarn chain, obviously. So if you have your Tapion in your drop area, uh, so that's one deck. Um, I think this card is really good in um, Starter Freezer also, especially if you have a uh, Freezer Healing Pod. So you will draw one card, and at the end of the turn, you'll draw another card. So just drawing power. That's draw power right there, just for one um, green energy. Also, I think this card is really good in um, uh, Dredge Goku. Uh, since it's a blocker, right, and you get to play this like turn one, um, Hopefully, if it gets KO'd, if it doesn't get KO'd, that's fine. But if it does get KO'd, you get to awaken your leader really super early, like 7 or maybe at 8 life. So, I really think it's dope. It's one of my favorite cards already because I'm, you know, brewing for some deck ideas. 
But um, let's go ahead and go to the five drop SS3 Sun Goku Fist of Fortitude. I really like this card. Uh, triple Strike Barrier, active main. If your leader card is green and you choose one card from your hand, discard it. Um, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and KO it. Then choose one of your opponent's unisons and remove two markers from it. So, why I think this card is really good, it's active main, right? It's not once per turn. So you can pitch cards, right? And just KO in through your uh, opponent's field and making them, uh, your opponent's unisons die quicker also. And it has triple strike and barrier. So I think it's really good, uh, especially with um, the extra card that just you're able to bring this out from the drop area. Um, it's an old extra card. I can't remember what it was called. But um, the second effect, uh, active main. Tap a green. If your leader card is green, you can discard this card from your hand, choose one of your opponent's unisons, and just remove a marker from it. So more unison killing from green. Um, I like the green support in this uh, set. And yeah, let's go on to the next. So, the yellow cards in the set, I um, only have two up here because I think yellow is kind of lacking, but it do does have a um, skillless uh, support in there also. There's a lot of skillless support in this set, and especially in yellow. So, I think skillless might be, might be coming back into the meta um, very shortly, but we have the three drop Lord Slug Super Namekian as unique and barrier. <laughs> Permanent. Bond 2. So it just needs any other battle card on the field so its effect can uh, go off. So when this card is in rest mode, your opponent cannot add cards from their deck to your hand using non-leader skills. So when we're saying they cannot add cards from your uh, from the deck, so obviously you cannot use an effect to search a card, right? Also, you cannot draw cards other than a leader um, leader skill. So if you have a draw ape in your drop area, your opponent cannot draw cards because this card is um, preventing preventing that. So drawing cards in this game is considered picking up a card. So you cannot add a card from your deck to your hand. So I like that effect also. It's like a, a floodgate. We have like a solid floodgate in the game now. Um, activate main, uh, tap a yellow. If your leader card is yellow or a slug's army card, you can discard a scrum card from your hand. And you get to play up to one slug's army card with energy cost of one from your deck and shuffle your deck. So what I really think is good, um, you can tap this yellow, right? And you get to play um, Wings. Uh, wings is a slug army card. And uh, it basically reduces the cost of uh, lore slug cards in your hand. Um, uh, while it's on the board and it has it's a one drop and it has barrier also so but if you're playing like a lore slug um deck or you can just tech this in and any yellow deck also you get to play this lore slug for uh two yellow energy basically um i think it's really good it's one of my favorite cards in the uh set also between tapion and this lore slug i've been talking about this lore slug with my team uh constantly but uh i think it's really good um so we have a Super Namekian Might. It's a one drop yellow. It's a counter attack if, you're low, if your leader card is yellow. Negate the attack and you may choose one card from your hand and discard it. If you do, choose up to one of your opponent's battle, battle cards or unisons and neg negate its skills for a turn. So I really like this card since um, it's a negate uh, and you get to negate any battle card or unisons skills for the turn. I think it's really big. Um, don't sleep on this card because this Negating the skill is really big, just just for this um, uh, one one drop yellow. All right, let's go into the blue cards. Inter uh, intersecting fates. So intersecting fates. I, I know my head's in the way, but um, active main. If your leader card is blue, look uh, at up to two cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one card among them to your hand, then place the remaining at the bottom of the cards. Um, bottom of your deck in any order. I'm sorry. Uh, at the end of the at the end of the turn, switch up to one of your mono blue energies to active mode. So this card, this card is really good. So unfortunately, your leader has to be blue, but right, you can look up with two cards on top of your deck and grab any card. Doesn't matter. It just says grab any card you want. Basically, it's a term I think in Magic called scrying, and uh, you grab any card you want, put the other card to the bottom, 
and uh, you untap your energy at the end of your turn anyway. So the card is really good. You can, man, blue blue's getting some good support in the set. Um, intersecting face is one of them. It's really good. Bonkers. Uh, you might be playing this in any blue deck because it doesn't require like a sand, a blue sand, but just any blue leader. It's really good. Um, so we got Riot Javelin, the two drop extra card. Um, it's a counter attack. If your leader card is blue, negate the attack, then choose, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost five or less, ignore and barrier, and return it to the owner's hand. So it's very simple, uh, self explanatory. Uh, this card is really decent in. Um, in the baby deck, even though it's uh, still so still a two drop, but um, baby is able to like search this out with the uh, leader effects and the uh, plant truffle. I mean, that's a truffle tuffle deck. Um, I mean, card. But we have um, the three drop chilled greatest pirate in the cosmos. So this is another blue skillless uh, support card. It has unique. Once returned, tap a blue. If this card attacks, uh, if this card attacks, deals damage to your opponent or removes a marker from your opponent's unison, play up to one blue skillless card with energy cost three or less from your deck or drop area, then shuffle your your deck if you look through it. Um, active main: If you have three or more energy, choose one skillless battle card uh, from your hand, discard it, and you get to play this card from your hand. So I really like this card. Um, it's dope. You're able to. I think. I think this card's really good. It's gonna be really good in uh, uh, future metas, especially like obviously skillless. But uh, since more skillless, uh, you're seeing like you see blue, yellow. You re we've seen red, but we just haven't seen really green skillless decks yet. But um, Barnock uh, Great Ape Assault is a five drop, has double strike and blocker. So. Um, it's probably one of the most hyped up cards in the uh, the whole set. It has EX Evolve for uh, two blue uh, on top of a blue, any blue Bardock with two more. It has permanent when the when using this card's Evolve skill you, uh, from your hand, you can choose one of your battle cards from your energy and play this card from your active mode. So it's very similar to uh, Set 10's uh, Goku Black Zamasu EX Evolving um, feature. So if you have a Bardock in your uh, in your energy, you can use your bar, bar, mm, Bardock from your energy um, to EX Evolve for two blue. Auto, if your leader card is blue, a blue sand card, uh, when a card in your energy evolves into this card, you get to draw a card. So when you evolve with it, you get to draw a card, then at the end of the turns, switch this card to active mode and play the and place the top card of your deck in your energy and rest mode. So, um, since you have a blue blue leader, you can, we have different uh, different colors of blue also. So you're ba basically possibly make have a blue yellow deck, uh, blue green, blue red, but most, most uh, I know I'm stuttering over my words, but most likely you're gonna have a, another mono blue energy if you're playing mono blue, obviously. And it just basically replaces itself, and you get to draw a card also. So it's really good. I like it. I fucks with it. Um, red cards. I think red has the most support in this um, in this set. Uh, it's just so many cards that's really good. Um, like the final heat failings right here is a four drop um, extra card. So basically, it's a one drop in uh, Invoker, right? So, energy exhaust counterplay. If your leader card is blue, choose up to one of your leader cards or battle cards, and it gains 5k for the um, for the for the turn. And if and if the battle card being played has the energy cost six or less, it is um, put to the bottom of the deck instead. So, this card is really good because um, it has like a sensu beam type effect towards your leader um, and or leader or battle card. And you get to stop a uh, battle card being, from being played. It doesn't bounce back, so that's really good. It goes to the bottom of the deck. So we have Corn Towers uh, Secret Medicine. It's a one drop red. So people are like controversy with this. It's like, oh, it's a new Sensu Bean. It's not a Sensu Bean. It's a new Sensu Bean, not a Sensu Bean. I believe it's going to be a Sensu Bean archetype uh, for, for each different color. 
Like for blue, obviously you get to untap the uh, um, untap your uh, energy and gain 5k. With this, you uh, if your leader is red, choose one of your cards and gains 5k for the turn, just like in Sensibine, right? If it's your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your opponent's cards, ignoring barrier, um, ignoring barrier, and it gets neg 5k for the battle. So this card is really good to me. Um, it's essentially uh, maybe like a 10k combo power. Well, extra cards don't really combo, but you get what I'm saying. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be uh, for this Sensu Bean archetype. I think it's going to be a yellow and a green one also. Green one is probably going to plus five to your, to any card and um, KO something, like a two or less or something. Uh, yellow might have a plus five for the turn and switch a card, another battle card to like rest mode or something. I don't know, but that's why I'm guessing. But yeah, here's our new uh, uh, Sensu Beam. So we have our four drop Sun Goku Unwavering Conviction. I think this card is really good just cause it's a rival is um, there's a rival red green, but the energy is just green. We don't have that many um, arrival just green cards. They're most likely more red, going towards red, but it also has double strike and it has the active battle once returned, placed up to one of your opponent's combo area and the drop area. So basically, it was getting rid of your opponent's um, combo, combo, then choose up to one of your one of your unisons or bad cards other than this card and gains 5k for the uh, for the turn. So choose up to one of your, oh, so you can give this card itself uh, 5k. So it's, uh, oh, that's really good. So basically say I play this, oh, it's once per turn, right? You swing, you can play, oh man, all right. So you can play this, this is just coming in my mind right now. You can play this, you can arrive, get this card. All right. It doesn't say choose up to one of your, oh, other than this card, oh man. Well, say if this card, well, say if another card had a, uh, uh, had 20K, give that plus five. Say if you can combo like mid state and awaken, you can bring out um, um, a plea, heartfelt plea. So that's just, you know, this is very situational, but you know, I'm just, my mind is just going everywhere right now, but. Let's continue on with the net more red cards. Um, King Piccolo, the new ruler, is a three drop, double strike, permanent. If your leader card is red, this card get, gets uh, 5k power and your opponent can't activate blocker. Bo well, blocker skills in response of this card's attack. Active main, if you have a red, uh, red unison in play with three or more markers on it, play this card from your hand and you can't play copies of this card for the rest of the turn. Auto, at the end of your turn, send this card to your owner's warp. So uh, this card is really good. It's one of the first cards that we were introduced to um, in Draftbox. This card screams uh, Broly. Uh, Red Broly, this card is going to be definitely be played in the new um, Broly, Red Broly BR deck. Just with um, just more more pressure towards your opponent. Um, you don't think that Kel get um, a lot of counters on it. Trust and believe that Kale is going to get uh, counters on it, at least three. And you get to play this car for free with no energy restrictions. You just get to play it, and it's a 20k double strike um, for Broly. So this, this car is really good. Um, this Goku, um, it's a Nimbus Master. It's a three drop unique, so a more skillless um, support. Uh, if your opponent's, if it's your opponent's turn at the end of your battle where this card is using the combo. Play up to one skillless battle card with an energy cost two or less from your deck or drop area. Shuffle your deck and if you look through it, you can't activate this auto uh, on this copy for the turn. So basically you just copy, um, I mean not copy, but combo with this card and you get to play a two, um, two or less from your deck or drop area. Or you can active main, tap any um, color and you send one skillless battle card from your drop area to your warp and you get to play this card from but yeah, like I was saying, I believe you can get um, you can get each SR from each color, the skillless uh, SR, and make a deck out of it. They're just like I, I think they just uh, go well so well with each other. <laughs> but this four drop King Piccolo, five seconds to eradication, as deflect, double strike, and barrier permanent. If your leader card is red, your opponent can't activate blocker skills in response to this card's attack. 
Auto, once returned, if your litter card is red, when this card attacks, choose up to one of your red unisons and add a marker to it. That's really good. Um, this card is really good just because it's deflect and barrier, and it has double strike. So I think this is red's version of their Abuni type card, just because it has um, deflect barrier. Uh, I think this card's gonna be seeing plays, especially in mid, more mid-range um, type decks in red. But um, it might, this might card see play in uh, Boma also. Uh, auto, add one card from your life to your hand. When this card's attack is negated, add a deal one damage to your opponent. So, and any time when this card attacks, you place a marker on on your unison, and if your and if your opponent uh, negates negates this attack, um, you will just automatically deal damage to your opponent. So I think this card is really good um, in that aspect. So let's go over the black cards. So so we got the. A unison so we got toa dark De uh, demon realm scientist permanent this card can't attack if it has two or two or fewer markers on it uh auto once return when when one of your opponent's battle cards is removed from the battle area by a skill or ko'd at, at a market to this to this card so um at the main choose one of your choose one card from your hand discard it choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards which your energy costs three or less and send it to your owner's warp so basically it's a plus one because you're going to use this effect to uh, get rid of uh, one of your opponent's battle cards and you're going to gain a counter on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, active main, um, neg four. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and gain control of it. So basically, <laughs> so basically, um, this card can come out turn one just because it's a colorless black card. And it's not going anywhere since it has 20k, and you're just able to, especially early game. This card is really good, almost in almost in any deck actually, because um, warping three or less and just adding a counter to it, it's it's gonna it's gonna be there, and that's during either player's turn. So whenever whenever your um, your opponent's battle card is removed from the battle area by a skill or KO, you get to automatically add a counter to this card. And just able, since you're just able to uh, take any card from your opponent, it's really good. But one of the most hyped up cards in the set, we have Demon God Demigra, True Power Unleashed. It's a five drop. So you can overwhelm this um, for five cards and buy a tap into energy, or you can dark, over, dark overwhelm it. You have to have at least five black cards in your drop area and tap two energy. But when this card is played using Overrealm or Dark Overrealm, you draw a card so it, re it replaces itself. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to your owner's warp. That's really good. That's really good. So it does not KO, but it just goes ahead and warps a battle card. That's really good. Uh, when this card attacks, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and send it to their warp. So, so you have a 30k 2 drop <laughs> that, that draws you a card and removes a battle card. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So every time this card um, is, a, is played, so basically this is like um, your Zamasu, your um, your deity. It's a five drop, that five drop green um, deity. I think it's called deity. Um, Zamasu, but it's a 30k. So it's going to deal some damage. And it warps and draws a card. This card is really good. It's going to be one of the most hyped up cards in the set. Um, other than from Bardock, I believe. But this, these two cards right here, is gonna be some money. Trust me, trust me. Pick these cards up. All right. Also, um, I just put all the giant force rares um, in here. Go ahead and pick up all the giant force rares. Um, obviously, some is better than other ones, but just go ahead and pick them up because some of them are more art type based. Um, like this Hrudegarn here and the Meta Cooler. But some of them are just super generic and they're just really good in general. Um, there should be 12 in all, but I believe if I had to choose between all 12, I believe this King Vegeta Giant Forest is really good. Just because um, it's second effect. Say if you're playing SS3, 
you get to draw five cards. Then untap three. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Me and my team have been talking about it. We're just like, yo, that's kind of wild. It's kind of crazy that they did that because it says X amount of energy. Drawing five cards and untapping three energy at the end of your turn is really dope. Really good. Really stupid. But yeah, anyway, if y'all like what y'all see, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. And, you know, I'm coming out with more videos uh, in the near future because we got some more cars to go over. And yeah, let's get to it. Peace.